So, who do you think the, the GOAT in basketball is right now? The streets gonna say oh. LeBron, but he's not the guy. He's not my guy. I just be wanting to say Quinn Cook's name at all times. Girl, he is nobody's. All Listen, my man won a championship <laughs> in college. Just like Adam Morrison did for the Lakers. <laughs> Wait, and you said in the NBA? NBA. Or the, oh. Or the WNBA. Facts. See how bad all that yeah. is? We automatically. Facts. Hi, I'm Avery. Chris. Crystal. Hi, I'm Trudy. How you doing? Hello, Jake. Sorry. Oh, I'm loving center retention. <laughs> don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> Not at all. I don't know what the hell. No. no absolutely not. No clip. We're gonna press, yeah, push your red button and look at some resumes of some athletes. I uh, see, I got two resumes and I'm gonna have to guess. That's, that's what I know. Yeah. And this big buzzer makes me think we're gonna compete it out, so. <laughs> Participants are given a pair of resumes. Resume one and resume two. Each person will determine which resume is more impressive and who it belongs to. But for you, we will reveal who these athletes are. This is Blind Resume. Man, there's, they're it, both great. <laughs> there's a give and take on both sides yeah. because they're pretty comparable. Maybe one has just been doing it a little longer than the other. I think the first thing that I see are it's very similar. Wait, is that a real question though? Are these both? That's part of the experiment. <laughs> Girl, well, you know what? Then I just feel like they're both women because why can't they be? Uh, world champion stands out. That's a big achievement for sure. Uh, Olympic gold medalist, that's also a very big achievement. Athletes of the year. So again, very, very, very established uh, athlete. They're pretty neck and neck for me, although number one has like three more Olympic golds. And they also have NCAA national championships. And resume two doesn't. This one is zero NCAA. But two NCAA, that's pretty impressive. College, oh. like basketball, yeah. Yeah, but the, I think the only thing that's throwing me off is the zero. Yeah. Please don't let this be the woman. <laughs> <laughs> the zero just told me that resume two didn't go to college. <laughs> ah. Yeah, but like, I mean, does college really matter? Nobody goes anymore. NCAA national champion. You know how hard that is? Mm -hmm. Back you run into to a whole group, a whole gang of people undefeated. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you that. No, a lot of the best college male athletes don't typically translate to being the best in the NBA. Like, like you don't see a guy who's won a bunch of NCAA championships also winning a bunch of NBA championships. But I've also seen ones that help game winners win championships and then also not do well either in the NBA. Yeah. Well, I mean, resume to eight. 18 times an all-star. You're like, it's like the Pro Bowl for basketball. So what, you had, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, five less good years. You might have broken something. 18 time all-star. Five time Olympic gold medals, that's the whole world. That's a lot. So, baby. You OG. It's, it's between it's those OG. two. Yeah. yeah. Number one draft pick, four time world champion. They got five differences in all-star. Olympic gold. They both are bomb. Yeah. I, I yeah. Know. I mean, I I think the the Olympics. When you look at men versus women, the women have been truly dominant. The men have not. So that makes me think that this one has to be a woman because it's five time Olympic gold medalist. Resume two. Like if, again, you're comparing paper to paper. Like their records or accolades. I don't see five times as much accomplishments as resume number one. Who would I pay more? The woman. <laughs> What if I told you resume two gets paid like over five times more than resume one? I would say they're probably a man. Number two okay. would be the male, and number one would be the female. Or That's the like what you would think? Yeah. It's a man, but he has zero NCAA championships, <laughs> so. Loser. Yeah, <laughs> major <laughs> loser. Yeah, because you know yeah. they be trying to underpay women because they're A thousand traveling. percent. Seeing these two resumes on paper with no names attached, they both seem like very, very talented and talented and big athletes that have done a lot. But yeah, it's kind of crazy that there's a five, five X discrepancy. This one, resume one, uh, because it has more stuff on it. I'm gonna go with resume one. Uh, I kind of like resume one. I think it's well rounded. Um, so I got four world championships, which is equivalent to resume two. Um, about three less all-stars, but again, if I'm going now to the next on the list, I got five Olympic gold medals compared to two, um, which is still a huge accomplishment. And then 
I don't know. Resume one looking like a champion all around. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. Uh, resume one's been winning up and down, like from beginning to end. Resume two looks like someone who doesn't show up at a lot of the Olympics, but shows up at the All-Star game. Um, requires super teams to win championships. <laughs> um, but this person, for being such a winner and being such a role model and at the top of the world in terms of performance, like you would like to think it's a lot closer than what the divide really is. Yeah, they're almost almost identical to me personally. Um, if I were, if I had to pick one, I probably would pick Resume One just because they have three more Olympic gold medals, and I know that's a big deal. We're competing against the entire world. I feel like I, I oh. should go with like number two just because I feel like it's you're different. trying to trick me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say number one. I like somebody to be a winner at all times. <laughs> and because I said college championships are just so, so tough, mm. I, I really, I gotta go with resume number one. I just can't. Love the I can't. It has to be number two. You got 18 time all 18 time Mom, all star. 13 time on this one. So what four we time about? world champion. Girl, number two. Okay, a but real one. We both four time world champions. So what you talking about? I'm going to. Of course you are. Five more seasons. Because they don't have a zero on their chart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all around more impressive to me. There's numbers and everything that this zero is really throwing me off. So, who do you think the, the GOAT basketball is right now? The street's gonna say oh. LeBron, but he's not the GOAT, he's not my GOAT. I just be wanting to say Quinko to name it all the time. Girl, he, he is nobody's child. all the time. Even, he is the league, girl. Honey. Listen, my man won a championship <laughs> in college. Just like Adam Morrison did for the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and you said in the NBA? NBA, or the, oh. Or, or the WNBA, because you see how bad all that yeah. is? We automatically, Facts. child, okay. not me. Cause I'm not here, not for there. the people, I'm for okay. the girls. Okay. I would pay one a little bit more because they have more Olympic golds, but it would be pretty. It would be pretty close. Yeah, I'd also agree. One million dollars to put on one. Shit. You already know what I'm doing. Cause, cause this, that's my life savings. Okay. Hold <laughs> like, on. Four time. Thirteen to eight. Five to two. Thought you was rocking with number two. Hold on. I thought eighteen. Hold times. on. Listen, I, you're not confident I'm no to, more. I'm I thought it was eighteen. I'm trying times. to stay focused. I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> I thought. It was, see, folks, switch up. Me, I'm ten toes. I'm about ten to be ten toes, but I'm just trying to make be sure. I'm trying to be sure. Four-time world champion. Thirteen to eighteen all-star. Okay. I, I may have to switch up. See, yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to. I think you. my million's going on number one. Duh. I'm so stuck on this All Star. I'm sorry. I am stuck on this All Star. Go back to go back to number two. We don't even want you over here at number one. Okay, I'm gonna go with number one. Number one. That's my choice. Final answer. Wow. Ten toes down. I think I'm ready to guess both. Really? Did I hit the buzzer. I didn't thought this I'm gonna embarrass myself so much. Do we get hints? Just one second. What the f is her name? I mean, I can just start hitting it. Name no. basketball players. No. I know what you're gonna say. Can one be Maya Moore? Candace Parker? Now I'm feeling like they are. You. <laughs> I was gonna go with Diana Taurasi. Is it the one that with this company? In resume one, I'm gonna say it's Sue. Here's number one, Sue Bird. Sue Bird. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sue Bird. Yay! Oh. Sue Bird. Sue Bird. I love Sue Bird. She is great. Sue all day. I, Sue all day. I absolutely. The OG, I, the GOAT. Because women don't get the credit they deserve. We need to be all over the TV. Famous, rich, <laughs> respected. I agree. Ooh. Oh, I feel trifling. Like, who number, who's number two? Oh. Is number two Kobe? Never Hold mind. Hold on, I gotta think. Can we phone a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't thought this was Resume two, I'm gonna say is LeBron. Oh, yeah, no sense. college, yeah. I mean, it's just hard to miss LeBron James' hairline, so that's the first person I think of. If I, you see that this. is not <laughs> why you think about LeBron James. Well, when you yeah, think basketball, greater. you think LeBron, Kobe, Yao Ming. played with Bugs Bunny. Oh, <laughs> shoot! <laughs> LeBron is number two. Like, that doesn't surprise me that LeBron, like, 
It's stupid, but yeah. I like I, I like I said, it's probably a man if they're getting paid that much more yeah. for like less than super exact accolades, which Price, is like yeah. the problem, I think. No hate to LeBron. Everyone like, should just comments. get paid more. That's that's, that's it's frustrating. Um, I would just like to see more investment from television coverage and television deals because I think that's where a lot of the money and the earnings come from. So I think that that would be the first step to evening them out. It sucks to see that these two players share such similar resumes and one just gets more of the money just because they've been able to get more exposure to the public. I've had a lot of debate when it comes to women basketball players. I've been just seeing like a lot of how men talk about it or the game or it's not dunking or they don't deserve to get paid or just the constant back and forth and I'm like all right if you were to the average man get on the court with any one of these WNBA players I know your ankles are getting broke and <laughs> regardless I think also the resume stands for itself right like if you in a job interview and I look at just resume one you telling me you're a champ so why am I second guessing just because of your gender um, and that's not to discredit like what LeBron has done but I think women are capable too, even more. So I just would like them to actually get the credit that they deserve. I just want to go on record. You were team. She was switching you up You were, I was stuff. switching up. Stay on that switching side. Up. Stay on that side. Let's see my girl. She and is. I was riding for the number for the resume number one, and it was my homegirl Sue. I apologize, so, Sue. I apologize. Okay, so that's the go. That's the go.